What is precision scheduled railroading? In the past, railroads would focus on moving trains rather than rail cars. There would be long trains to maximize cargo capacity. Trains were operated as either uh, unit trains that moved a single commodity or a manifest service, which carried several types of cargo. Unit trains were preferred because they were faster. If a train wasn't long enough, it would be canceled because it did not meet a length requirement and the customer had to wait another day for train service. The focus on trains was slowing down the network and caused train cars to sit for long periods of time. Slower rail network velocity or train speed means it takes longer for train equipment to return to its owner. This results in more unproductive train cars. Precision Scheduled Railroading, or PSR, puts the focus on moving train cars by keeping trains continuously moving regardless of train length. PSR involves operating trains on fixed schedules rather than waiting for cargo. This reduces wait times and increases reliability. As trains continually move through the network, the network becomes more balanced in regards to resources like crews, cars, and locomotives. PSR is a management system designed to improve service and make operations more efficient and cut costs by sticking to pre-set schedules. PSR involves the optimization of train movements, cargo, and personnel. With PSR, equipment spends less time in railroads, fewer trains run on routes, train cars are heavier and packed with more cargo, and the need for locomotives is lessened. Some locomotives can even be taken out of service. There's also less workforce needed. In 2011, there were um, 159,000 railroad employees at the seven largest freight railroads in North America. In 2021, there was 115,000 employees, representing a 28% drop in a period where freight fell by only 11%. Railroads have been able to increase revenue per ton of freight. There has not been a clear link between PSR and accident rates established yet, but the system certainly introduces new hazards and additional risks.